million dollar tax this. benefit for your family. And when you look at what how you much, are how proposing, much my it is, Lester, as I said, trumped up, trickle down. Trickle down did not work. It got us into the mess we were in in 2009. Slashing taxes on the wealthy hasn't worked. And a lot of really smart, wealthy people know that. And they are saying, hey, we need to do more to make the contributions we should be making to rebuild the middle class. I don't think top-down works in America. I think building the middle class, investing in the middle class, making college debt-free so more young people can get their education, helping people refinance their tax, their, their debt from college at a lower rate. Those are the kinds of things that will really boost the economy. Broad-based, inclusive growth is what we need in America, not more advantages for people at the very top. Mr. Trump, we're talking... Typical talk politician. All talk, no action. Ooh. Sounds good. Ooh. Doesn't work. Never going to happen. Our country is suffering because people like Secretary Clinton Ooh. have made such bad decisions in terms of our jobs and in terms of what's going on. Now, look, we have the worst revival of an economy since the Great Depression. And believe me, Donald we're Trump is going right off. And the only thing that looks good is the stock market. But if you raise interest rates even a little bit, that's going to come crashing down. We are in a big, fat, ugly bubble. And we better be awfully careful. And we have a Fed that's doing political things. This Janet Yellen of the Fed. The Fed is doing political by keeping the interest rates at this level. And believe me, the day Obama goes off and he leaves and he goes out to the golf course for the rest of his life to play golf, when they raise interest rates, you're going to see some very bad things happen because the Fed is not doing their job. The Fed is being more political than Secretary Clinton. Mr. Trump, we're talking about the burden that Americans have to pay.